Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. It's Siobhan from Tikiti and Beyond and today we're doing monthly horoscope readings. This horoscope is for Aries um, in the month of May 2018. That's Aries Sun, Moon or Rising and I also advise you to watch your Sun, Moon and Rising sign videos as well to get a more complete overview of what's going on for your month of May. Okay, so I'm doing the monthly energy forecast spread um, which goes into your energy, the lesson, the advice from spirit, your inner and outer focus, and the struggle and thrive energy for this month as well. So Aries, um, before I even pulled any cards, I sat and tuned into your energy for a minute, and the message from spirit that came through intuitively for you this month is to clean it up. Not really sure what that relates to. Take what resonates with you and apply that however um, you feel guided, but that's what came through was to clean it up. Um, so, you guys are coming up in your reading as the Nine of Wands energy. And the Nine of Wands um, indicates climbing. Okay, so he's ascending up these stairs, right? He's spreading out his wings for balance so that he doesn't fall. But the Nine of Wands also indicates asking for support, asking for assistance from others as you go through this time of ascension so that you don't fall down. You know, you've, you've come this far, you've gone up this far, you're trying to find this inner balance. It's okay to ask for help from others to support you through this time of, of growth and ascension because it, it's not something that we should, should or need to do alone. This is something that we um, can support each other through and towards. Now, the rest of your reading, just looking at the overview of your reading, I know you can't see it, but there's a lot of court cards here, which indicates a lot of people involved, which indicates that, again, that you can ask for support from these people. These could also be aspects of yourself to tap into, but I'm feeling intuitively that it, it's something in your inner circle. You either need to clean up your inner circle and really focus on the people who are positive in your life, or to seek out people who are going to help you and support you and be emotionally um, supportive rather than draining. Okay, so the lesson for you guys this month came um, up as the Page of Wands in reverse. And the Page of Wands in reverse speaks of new, concept, new points of contact with people around you. So being able to communicate your emotions openly and honestly, um, because the page is the messenger and the cups are emotions. So this coming up in reverse in the lesson position indicates that um, this month you guys may need to focus on communicating openly and honestly with those around you. So this stems back again to the Nine of Wands needing to ask for support. So be honest with yourself and with others around you. And if you need assistance, it is not a weakness to ask for support. It's actually a strength because it's going to help you flourish. It's going to help you grow. You are going to continue ascending. There's no shame in that. and But there is shame in not asking and then falling down. Okay, so you could have asked for help and you could have stayed up at, up at that top stair and then kept going. So don't out of pride and ego refuse to ask for help. That's the lesson here is to really just be authentic. And if that means being vulner vulnerable for a moment to have this true communication and support, then do so. Okay. This is just guidance. <laughs> okay. Um, the advice from spirit is the king of cups and the king of cups is an emotionally mature man or an emotionally mature male energy man or woman um this indicates being able to give and receive love openly and freely so this coming up in the advice position indicates that there may be um, a need for you to reach out to uh, an emotionally stable man or woman in your life to support you through this time um to help you in your growth to help you stay high, high vibrational, high, you know, frequency, going up the stairs, not down the stairs, because there's a lot of ascension energy here. And I'll go into that with the with the other cards in a moment. But the this is the advice for you is to be open to people. Um, this could be going in and seeking advice from your dad. This could be going and seeking advice from your brother. This could be going and seeking advice from a counselor or um, a, a therapist of some kind. This could be going for emotional healing. This could be going for energetic healing. Whatever resonates with you and you feel called to do, that's what spirit is advising at this time. So take what resonates. Um, the inner focus this month is the queen of wands energy. 
the Queen of Wands is a fiery, passionate woman with um, a high level of resolve. So she gets shit done, excuse my language. But it's coming up in reverse. So the inner focus this month is um, on this potential imbalance within yourself. So you may not feel it, not, may not be feeling like you have the passion and the inner fire or the resolve to really get this done. And that's why the cards are indicating to ask for support, ask for guidance, ask for teaching, ask, you know, ask and you shall receive. Okay, Aries, really open up, really seek out people around you who are going to assist you, not drag you down. Um, the, this is, you know, this is, you, you are that fiery energy. You do have that inner resolve, but it's coming up in reverse because it may be a little bit imbalanced at this time and therefore require your attention and your focus to be able to come back into alignment with your inner resolve. So the outer focus is the two of coins for you guys in the month of May. The two of coins is about working together. Um, in this deck partic in particular, which is the dragon tarot, it's a little bit different than the um, regular tarot, the rider weight. In this deck, the Two of Coins speaks about movement, but doing the same work. So it coming up in reverse um, could indicate that you're actually not moving and you're continuing either to do the same work or to do different work. So you could be staying in the same place, doing the same work that you've always done, but still growing and still ascending um, and possibly meeting new people through the work that you're doing now, whether it's the same or different. Um, this could also indicate you, you know, starting, you, it could indicate you moving. It could indicate you moving um, and, and or meeting new people and working with new people. So take what resonates with you. Again, I'm going to continue to repeat that because it's a general energy reading. Uh, this is the thrive energy for you guys in the month of May is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is um, the balanced, intellectually logical male energy, and he has won the battle. So if you can see in the in the depiction on the card, he is flying um, from battle, he's achieved his goal, and he's got his followers behind him. Those are like the little tiny little specks. Those are actually dragons. So he's got his followers behind him. He's sort of leading um, the return army home after their victory. So this is coming up in the thrive position because you guys, um, when you do ask for help and when you do allow, allow yourself to, you know, be the leader, you know, it may require you to ask for assistance because leaders are, they can be born, but they can also be bred. So they need this learning period to become the best leader that they can be. Aries, you are the archetype of the leader. It's in your chart. It's in your horoscope, just down to a T. Aries are the leaders of the zodiac. They are the first sign of the zodiac. And I'm doing you last specifically because I'm a Pisces and I always have to wait for the last, you know, the 12th reading, which is, you know, a while. So I'm doing you guys last because <laughs> I wanted to give Pisces a chance to be first for once. But you guys are the leaders. Okay, you're number one. So it, it may take you some support, some external teacher who is going to help you grow into that aspect of yourself because you may not be feeling like you're there yet. Although you're getting close, the nine of wands is, is coming to completion and you are ascending. So keep that upward motion, keep that upward momentum going. Um, keep moving forward because you're going to eventually come to completion and be that leader in your own life for those around you. So, and here's the best part is that when people support you, you then have the chance to grow and support them. So it's a mutual give and take. It's not, it's not like you're, you're putting anybody out for them helping you. It's not like you're dragging them down. By allowing them to help you, you're actually helping yourself, which then helps them because you have you have the ability then to reciprocate. Okay, so you are going to become that that male leader energy, and this is male or female, but um, the male energy itself is more dominant. It's more action oriented. So that's what I mean when I say male energy. So this is yeah, either way. Uh, the struggle energy for you guys this month is the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is the teacher. Now, this is where that ascension energy comes in again, because as you can see, there's that ladder. 
So the teachings, being open to receiving um, or giving teachings will help you to ascend up that ladder, right? So we've got this ascension theme for you guys this month. There's the stairs, there's the ladder. Keep moving up, all right? If you get stuck on a step, ask for help. That's what the lesson is in this reading. Come out of your shell and ask for help. Support. It's not... Um, admitting weakness to ask for support. It's not admitting defeat. It is not in any way a weakness, okay? Asking for support is a strength and we all must do it at some time. Now, I know you're a fire sign. I know you may have a little bit of pride and a little bit of ego. A little bit. <laughs> I know Aries. So, it's really about getting in touch with your true emotional self and putting that ego and putting that pride to the side for now and really reaching out for what's going to benefit you in the long run, not what's going to be short-term gratification. This is long-term thinking. This is long-term ascension. So keep on your path. Clean up your circle. Clean up your life. Clean up your, your inner realm and your outer realm. Get your resolve back, your focus, to really move forward. Keep moving forward. Keep building. Keep doing what you're doing as long as it's productive and as long as it's not hurting anybody. Okay, um, you guys are the leaders. You are going to be the leaders. This could be you being a spiritual teacher. Um, this could be you in your, your leadership authority role. So take what resonates with you. But Aries, you know, you've got it. You've got what it takes. Don't doubt yourself. And don't let pride, fear, or ego hold you from being your true authentic self, which is that great king who wins battles, who brings love to the people, who then is able to support and lead the people with love and harmony and balance, okay? So Aries, this was your reading for the month of May 2018. Um, it, remember, like I said a million times, it's a general energy reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I also advise watching this at the end of May, once again, to sort of um, integrate and see how things played out for you, because hindsight is always 2020. so you'll get a better idea um, re-watching it again later. So uh, good luck, Aries. You are the leader. Don't forget that. Support yourself. Find support from others around you and know that you are loved, okay? You are so loved. I love you, okay? Bye, guys. We'll talk to you next month.